In this video, we're going to check out our sharing settings to ensure that we're sharing our documents and resources properly with our students. So if I'm in a Google Doc and I want to share my Google Doc with my students, of course, the easiest way to do that is to use Hapara. But if I wanted to go into the document itself, I could click on share. And up here, I have the option to get a shareable link. I can click on that shareable link. And the default is that anyone in the Ottawa Catholic School Board with the link can view. Let's take a look at our advanced sharing settings. Because our staff and our students are in two separate domains for privacy, staff are in OCSB, students are in OCSB student, this means that only staff could view this document. If I want to change that, I need to click on change and change it to anyone with the link can view. This would allow my students to see this document. Students would then be able to make a copy by going to file, make a copy, um, and they'd be able to view that easily. So I could share this through an email or something like that. If I'm sharing through Hapara, I don't need to take those steps and we'll get to that later. If I'm in a Google form and I want to share this little quiz or comprehension exercise with my class, if I go up to the little cog wheel here, you'll notice that it gives me the option to collect email addresses. And it requires, if I wanna do that, it requires a sign in. So this box will get checked. It says restrict to users in the OCSB and its trusted organizations. Because OCSB student is a trusted organization, students would be able to see this form. If I'm using Hapara, I'm here in my workspace and I've got all these activities ready to go to share with my students. Anything that I put on these cards will automatically be shared with them as long as I've added them to my workspace. So if my students have been added into my students and groups, those students will be able to open up these documents. I've added my originals here, and I've added my original template here. And what Hapro Workspace will do is it's going to automatically create this for the students as a view only slide deck. And this document over here, students will click on it and it'll open up a forced copy of the document that they can work on immediately. So Hapara is a really great option for sharing documents with your students. Check out our other videos to learn more about using Hapara.